Hello, and welcome to another video. Today, I have a very interesting piece of technology to show. This may look like a normal piston engine, but it is not. This is a pressure engine. What is a pressure engine, you may be wondering? It is a engine that takes advantage of the pressure effect of a piston. <clears throat> a long time ago, I was building a thruster engine hybrid, and they had this problem where the uh, the weight of the thrusters would cause the pistons to push inside themselves. When you have a piston push inside of itself, uh, like this here is, um, what happens is it, it generates a huge rebound force, similar to that of a bearing being uh, stretched off its bearing. If you have a fast controller, however, uh, connected to the pistons, they don't have a inherent speed restriction, or they don't have nearly as much as a speed restriction that they otherwise have. So they can rebound with an enormous amount of energy. Um, and this here is an engine that's taking advantage of this. I need an engine to start and uh, stop this, but you don't actually need this uh, to be here. You can get rid of this and it will stay running. Um, it doesn't need any timing, as you can tell. No timing required. Uh, all you need is just a fast controller connected to pistons and a pass-through like this so that it, allow, it will allow them to press inside of each other. One demonstration of this. So here I have a fast controller. I can connect it to this uh, bearing here to show you that it is indeed a fast controller. And I can set it to go to some angle, and it goes there very fast, if near instantly. <clears throat> now we take the same controller and apply it to a piston. Or before I do that, here, this is a pretty normal piston. We can give this a huge distance. <clears throat> Acts fine. But the moment we connect this to a fast controller, and we give this a lot of speed, it will... <clears throat> attempt to rebound. You saw it try there. You might need a bit more mass. Uh, the more mass, the easier it is for it to start that pressure. There we go. This will happen when it hits the uh, end of its travel uh, and on the return. The reason why we have these wedges here is so that these can slide through each other without them colliding. This is a type of floating pass-through or non-collision pass-through. Um, and that's, that's the principle for this, to keep the, the cylinder from hitting, uh, its, its support. <clears throat> if you're wondering what kind of power these engines can make, um, they range between, uh, anywhere between 200 to 400, uh, horsepower. Um, <clears throat> I'm working on some versions that can do... Uh, higher and a friend of mine named uh, Dense. I showed this to him quite a while ago and uh, he uh, picked it up and I think he's actually going to make a video on this pretty soon. But um, <clears throat> yeah, fuzz engine, pressure engine, whatever you want to call it, uh, they operate uh, very close to the speed of a gas engine. That's another thing. Since they rely on the momentum of the cylinder, uh, there is, since they rely on the momentum of the cylinder, it has to push inside of itself, so it has to be moving. It has to have a lot of kinetic energy. So they can't start from a standstill. Um, you can try running it with uh, sensors to get them going, but there will be some some bridge you have to, have to cross that would be used with a... Um, <coughs> A gas engine to uh, start and stop the engines. And uh, yeah, that's a pressure engine. There you go.